Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem is calculate the inbreeding coefficient f of x of the offspring denoted by x of the mating between the first cousin p and q. So p and q are first cousin and we have to calculate inbreeding of x. And this happens in animals assuming that inbreeding f stands for the inbreeding, inbreeding of the a is 0 0.05 and inbreeding of B is 0 0.24. Probably from my previous videos you know how to calculate inbreeding if we have here two loops but now things are a little bit more complicated. We assume that this person here and this person here is also inbred. That means that they also had loop somewhere in the family. So they are inbred. And here's the coefficients. So let me show it with arrows. So this is inbreeding coefficient of A and this is inbreeding coefficient of B. And if you don't understand this arrow diagram, so let me show you as pedigree, which you probably get used to. So we have here individual A. Here sex is not shown. So it's not important for our calculation. So I just assume that individual A is a male, but it can be female. So and individual B is going to be female. Again, this can be male, but of course in a pair one have to be a male, one have to be a female. So as you see they have two children C and D and each contributed 50% of its genes to each child. So it comes from each parent 50%. So we have two children. It's again not important what is the sex. Let's assume that both are females. So female C and female D. They are sisters. Now let's assume they got married. So he's a husband of D. He's a husband of C. They're not shown here again because this is not important for our calculations. Only people who are part of the loops are important for us. Important for calculation of inbreeding. So and each couple here had child and this time one have to be male another have to be a female because they are going to mate so they are as you see cousins and we are showing this mate as consanguineous mating and here is the individual x and again, we don't know the sex of this individual. So let's put this symbol here when sex is not specified. So this is individual X, this is individual Q, and this is individual P here. What is shown here, exactly the same thing what is shown here. Here is just shown gene flow or uh, flow of the genetic information. Again, 50% we are getting from each parent. So here is a couple, they have children and each of them getting 50% of the genome from each parent. But as you see for example Q and P they have only one arrow. It doesn't mean that they got 100% of the genome from only one parent T. The uh, other parent is just not shown here because again for calculation of inbreeding these parents are not important. So we even can cross them out like this. They are not important for our calculations of the inbreeding of the individual X. So we have one loop as follows. So here is uh, one loop. Take a look. And here is another one. So second loop is going to be as follows. 
Now let's find how many nodes in each loop we have. We count all nodes except the individual for whom we are calculating this inbreeding. So on the pink loop we have one node, second, third, fourth and fifth. So we can say that individual x is going to be inbred due to this loop is one half power five. But individual a on this loop is also inbred. So we have to include in our calculations inbreeding coefficient of this person. But if we multiply this number, which is one over 32 by this coefficient, we are going to decrease in breeding, but in breeding have to increase because this individual in bread. So we have to add one here. So plus one. And that means that in our calculations, we have to multiply these two numbers. So 1.05. And we have another loop here. So plus here is another loop. Take a look. It is going to be as follows. And we also have following um, nodes here, which is one, two, three, four, and five. So again, we have one half power five times and in breeding of the individual B is 0 0.24. So again, we have to add one to this number plus one, and we have to multiply by inbreeding of the individual B, which is going to be 1.24. And our answer is going to be 0 0.0716. This is rounded number. And if you need an answer in percent form, we just have to multiply this answer by 100. That means that we have to move this decimal point to places to the right. And the answer is going to be 7.16%. And this is going to be inbreeding coefficient of the individual X. So 7.16%. And if we wouldn't adjust our calculations, with inbreeding of the individual A and B, our answer would be in this case, so one half power five plus one half power five. So this is going to be one half power four, or would be one over 16, or it's going to be 0 0.0625 or 6.25%. So as you see, adjusted number is 7.16. So these calculations take into account inbreeding of the individual A and B. So hence this almost 1% difference in inbreeding. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.